Hey guys, this is Crowbar Zero, and back with another episode of Pump Up My Tower. And today I'm going over La Calvones, uh Tower. Sounds Spanish, maybe? Um, really cool name, though. Sounds kind of rolls off the tongue nicely. Um, just got this up so we can all see uh, they have not unlocked Golden Bot yet. Um, they have almost 400 medals so i don't know if they're saving that for the next event so that they can buy out stuff but i'm just gonna give advice assuming that mm, give me a second when they do have the medals that they can unlock gold bot hopefully they can do that i'm also going to assume that they're on the free to play side um uh, and they're on the newer side i haven't dived too much into things yet um and that's probably why metals are kind of a scarce economy for this uh, particular player. Um, but I will say, in general, just for everyone in, and yeah, um, <clears throat> themes you should buy first because themes and uh, relics those are uh, going to be limited, and then um, anything after that, I would say just for your bots. Don't get uh, shards, don't get stones, don't get gems with um, with your medals. It's probably one of the most limited resources in the game. So pretty much keep it just to those, the themes which are limited. And then uh, you can distribute the rest to your bots. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to jump over. So uh, I will say when golden bot is unlocked i believe it is 120 second cooldown with a times two multiplier and then a low range on it i, for I forgot the uptime on it but um yeah all right let's jump over to the ultimate weapons so i i did a tiny bit of prep work just when I saw the the bots, so I could go, you know, do some math off uh, off the recording. And so total between uh, black hole and golden tower, that is going to be a one hundred and sixty second cooldown. Which means if golden bot was unlocked, every three activations of golden tower and uh black hole um will be synchronized up to um uh coin bot and at first you're like well if it's times two multiplier does that mean that overall just unlocking coin bot is going to give a 25 percent increase and to that i would say no because you're going to need range to be able to capture as many inter enemies as possible which you're still not going to be able to capture all of them um yeah so just just forewarning on that but um if we're eventually able to get the cooldowns um well right now it's probably not a bad spot just kind of leaving these cooldowns as they are until you have enough stones where you can just make a big drop down um and synchronize it a uh, hundred percent of the time so that would be um Let's see. So 120. Uh, yeah. So you would need to get it down to the two minute mark, I believe. Yeah. Two minute mark on both of these, which is. It's a ways away. Um, uh, and here I'm going to go do some math that I, <laughs> I probably should have done beforehand. <laughs> but uh, let's see. So for Golden Tower. If we're at 160 seconds and we want to take it down to 120, that's going to cost us, let's see. Almost 1,400 stones just for the Golden Tower side. Um, black Hole. That is not going to be nearly as bad, but it's still going to suck. Um, let's drop that down. Let's see. Uh, 
maybe about 400 stones. So total about, what was it? Yeah. Anyway, so it's going to be kind of chunky to get these synchronized down as far as like all the costs. So yeah, 1600. But, you know, it might be kind of comparable to like unlocking your next ultimate weapon and you're getting that synchronized pretty much all the time. So it's yeah eventually those will be good just you'll have to save up a good chunk before you can make that jump um let's see durations so they're actually synchronized up as far as the the length of the durations so that's pretty cool like you really don't need to do any work other than just bringing them up together if you do some labs here you'll probably want to do a little bit of duration over here um <clears throat> Just like uh, with the coin bot, actually, you're going to want to expand your black hole size and uh, your GT bonus. I think from what I can see right now, those two are probably the major weak points as far as the econ goes. So that shouldn't be too difficult to, to give a nice chunky boost to. Um... We've got three quantity for uh, spotlight, so that's that's not bad. And that probably costs you a pretty penny to to get that, but um, so you'll probably be able to get let's see, 40, 80, 120, 120 out of three sixty, so a third coverage. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. So if you maxed out the, the coin lab, what would that give you? Like, uh, I'm not mathing right now in my head, <laughs> but it's not bad. <clears throat> uh, let's see. The bonus is a little bit on the low side. Um, I would probably work on the size and bonus for a GT and uh, black hole first. Uh, you did put a huge investment into chain lightning. Uh, that's that's pretty chunky, uh, especially for the damage part of things. Um, <laughs> right now you're at an, an interesting point. Like poison swamp, actually having that is just. You're probably in the spot where you got it, and it is what it is. Um, some of the costs to get the other tools that you're going to want, uh, namely Death Wave, I would say that would be priority one out of the new ultimate weapon choices, and then uh, followed by Smart Missiles after that. Um, both of those will be really, really solid. But for just kind of bang for your buck kind of deal, um, a pretty good uh, return on investment, you know, as I keep on saying, for the, the bonus and the size here. Um, yeah, th those are the big things that are striking me right now. Hold off on your uh, chain lightning. You're, you're plenty far into that. Uh, well, you'll, you'll dip back into this later. And as in later, like I would say, um, make sure you're able to develop um, Death Wave as well as um, Smart Missiles. All right, let's see what we got here. So we've got our workshop here. Um, just going through everything. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Get a drink of water while I'm kind of looking through this. Okay.
Okay. All right. I think I know where I'm going to go with the advice on this one, but I'm just going to continue looking at everything just so I can kind of gather all the information in my head and then roll from there. Oh, plasma can, that'll be good to... <sighs> hmm. Because at that level with plasma cannon, let me pull my cards up over here. So that's at level, so that's about 46%. If that, so this would be, no, this is purple, this is yellow. Yeah, you're at 46%. Uh, huh. Hmm. Wait, no, it's level four. Oh yeah, because it's all the stars, and then it goes yellow, and then it goes purple. Oh, bugger. Mm, all right. <clears throat> okay. So we're rolling to be able to get that next level plasma cannon would be really helpful. Um, I need to check out everything else. Yep, yep, yep. Just going through and seeing which cards are selected. Okay, recovery package chance. I'm guessing you're using Gico. Uh, what? The modules. Okay. <sighs> Give me a moment. Okay, so with the modules, I don't think we have pictures of the individual ones themselves and what kind of substats you have on them. But I'm going to assume this is what you're using for farming. Okay. Um, wormhole redirector, absolutely fantastic. I would put... Um, as far as the three substats I would put on there, I would put um, defense percent. I would put uh, health regen because the health regen is going to charge up your um, your uh, your overheal, I guess you would call it, and then um, defense that and then I would use uh, absolute defense cannon module that's fine um, if you have attack speed up um, on there hopefully you don't if you don't then that's fantastic you want a uh, super crit and both of the, the two super crit uh, substats um, are really strong other than that, yeah. Um, G comp, the the big three that you're gonna want to go for, or if you eventually get four, I gotta check a. What is it that's uh one hundred one? Okay, so one hundred one, you unlock four. So at three of them, three substats, I would say um, package chance, enemy health skips and for both uh, health and um, their damage. Or it would be health and attack. Yeah. So those would be the, the three that I would probably go with on that. You could possibly substitute, actually, 
You know, actually, I take that back. For this, I'm going to say package chance. I'm going to say um, enemy attack level skip. And then I would suggest coins. And specifically because you want to nerf their ability to do damage to you, but you don't really care about how much dam or how much health that they have. That's what we're going to go with. Um, I'm tweaking some of this uh, on the fly. <laughs> uh, let's see. So for your uh, your core module, I would say let's go with a Harmony Conductor. You're not worried about what it actually does, um, but you're just worried about you know the rarity and uh, more importantly, um, it's it's not Dimension Core. Dimension Core, you're absolutely going to want to tailor that one for your tournament use. You have a really strong uh, like chain lightning, so I would definitely save that for uh, this. So as far as like substats for um, for your Dimension Core for tournament use, I would say Spotlight Angle is really strong. Uh, you could do Spotlight Bonus and then uh, Chain Lightning. I would go with like the the chance. I think that the chance was probably going to be your best spot. That way, that um, you're hitting more often. Um, let's say a boss is coming towards you, you're hitting that boss a lot more often with the uh, chain lightning, so you can get the shocks off a lot faster. Build up that amp on the enemy as quickly as possible, so you're doing as much damage. That's where I would go with that. And then Harmony Conductor, as far as for Econ use, um, let me, yeah, Spotlight Angle. Let's see, what, what, what would we want to get? Definitely Spotlight Angle. That's absolutely phenomenal. And then you could do something along the lines of Golden Tower bonus and Black Hole size. If you don't want to, yeah, yeah, I think that's probably pretty solid. Um, once you get a four slot, I would say you could probably put in Spotlight bonus. Um, but you're not too concerned actually about damage per se. It's more good coverage good bonus you've got your durations mashing you don't have uh, gt plus so you, as long as these are fairly close yeah, it's good enough and then you don't want any of the the cooldown stuff because that's gonna throw off uh, all your synchronization that's what i would do for farming um You're at a point where there you can get a lot of growth as far as levels onto your modules, so there's not a huge need currently to um, pull modules. So I would say probably focus your gems on pulling better cards, and especially hoping to get a plasma cannon up uh, one more level. So it looks like uh, just that eight more copies of that, if I'm reading that correctly, four out of twelve. So hopefully you can get that relatively soon. Also on the flip side, if you can get more recovery packages, it means uh, G-Comp is going to be going off a lot more often. Um, eventually you might want to change this out with something else once you have CoinBot, but for now, until you have uh, CoinBot up and running, I think uh, G-Comp is where it's at for you. Mm-hmm. Let's go over to labs. So what are your current labs? You've got okay, black hole coin bonus. That's extremely powerful. Like I'm I'm not gonna back out and say change this. Like this is that stays. Lab speed. Absolutely that stays. Um your GT duration. Um, the attack speed, yeah, the attack speed, I think for now, I think that's probably good. We can keep that going for quite a while. Maybe at level 50, 
you might want to look at that again, but you're also your chain lightning is really powerful and that's going to benefit for more speed. So, um, <laughs> Maybe at like around level 70, uh, maybe you'll end up looking at some other stuff, but this is going to stay there for a while. This is going to stay, this needs to stay here until it finishes. And same thing with black hole coin bonus, that stays until it finishes. Spotlight coin bonus, you've got okay coverage, but um, it's not going to be huge. Um... It's going to be hard kind of at the bonus that you have here. Let me just pull this up. So one of the strategies is basically trying to kill or selectively kill enemies that are in spotlight. And you can do a little bit of that as far as preferentially targeting enemies that are in spotlight to begin with. Um, and it is, you know, a times 12 bonus, but, um, It might be something that you'll actually want to do. Yeah, probably your target priority uh, will probably be enemies in spotlight and then kind of filter down. This is only during farming. <laughs> this is not during far uh, tournaments. In tournaments, I'd say uh, the closest enemy to you, just leave that as your default targeting. And then, um, or if there's like specific elites that are just eating you really easily, maybe those are a little bit higher up on the priority, but otherwise... Closest for tournament and then in spotlight for um, for when you're farming coin. Let's see. So yeah, I guess for now you could probably keep that, but let me check a little look at the rest. Okay, damage and critical factor are close. Um, critical factor, you're always going to gain a little bit more each time it goes up. It's a 0 0.03 instead of a 0 0.2 that you get from damage. So there's a lot more value over here than over here. Damage per meter, you already have chain lightning, so that can probably be left alone for quite a while. Um, super crit chance and multi, you can get around to them when you can. Um, not a huge rush on that. Oh, I should probably, let's see. Orb speed. Orb speed will be pretty good. You can definitely buff this. And when you get to the point where you can afford it, I would suggest starting to invest into orb uh, boss hit. This will be really, really nice. So... Um, Maybe it's not going to do a huge amount of damage to bosses, but you'll want to grab this at some point. Coins per kill. It looks like it's uh, this account is a little bit on the newer side, so that's going to be helpful. Um, package after boss. You know, that guarantees every 10 waves that you're going to get a package. So that's really nice. Um, eventually, package chance will be nice. These two, your uh, ELS ones, or enemy level skips, those are nice. Those just bring up uh, both the base and the cap, so it's really nice. And let's see, how many waves are you going on these? Oh, let's see here. Hmm, so up to tier 13. Looks like right now you're getting the most coins out of about like tier 9, tier 8. Um, so 2.9 billion, will that allow you to... Oh yeah, you'll definitely be able to afford this. So if you can slot that in, that'll be really, really nice. Um, for now, when you can afford a wall... I would probably hold off on getting that for now. Um, but eventually down the line it can be useful. Uh, let's see. Also not free to play. Oh, okay. 
Not free to play. All right. Well, I don't know how big your budget is, but uh, definitely I would say uh, get some event packs. That will really help uh, get your uh, coin bot up and running as soon as possible. Um. Yeah. So labs. Let, let's let's revisit this. Um. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot missing out of here, especially when it comes to like the, the ultimate weapon labs. Those are completely missing from here. So, just gonna look at this, and I'm gonna make the judgment based on looking at this. Uh, labs that you're gonna want, you know, the black hole coin bonus, that's really, really solid. Um, if you can get black hole damage, that will be absolutely amazing. So if you can get that up to 2%, once you have this, at, you know, the, the perk for this, you've got about 30 seconds. So for most enemies, except for bosses, um, that's going to equate to 60% um, damage during that duration of Black Hole being up. Really, really nice. Um, so you'll just have to figure out, okay, how am I going to get the, the rest of that 40% damage? And chances are it's probably going to be from thorns. Um, for you, you know, I'm kind of suggesting that hoarding strategy where you have really low, you know, attacks per second. Um, that way you can gather a bunch of enemies near your tower. They all get sucked into black hole. They cook on that for a little bit. And, uh, hopefully some of the, your orbs, We'll take a lot of these guys out and just do the do most of the work for you but um you kind of want to take into consideration of like oh the duration how much with the perk how much damage is that gonna net for those enemies that that got sucked in at that time um yeah so workshop i would take your attack speed down to nothing um, you could do critical chance or critical factor, either or whatever you feel like. Uh, attack range, you want that minimal. And as I'm usually mentioning to everyone, that um, that's going to bring your black hole closer to you. So you don't require as much black hole range. Um, and you want the black hole to eventually be large enough where, you, where the orbs that are circling around, um, which... Chances are for you, the best one is going to be getting those orbs from like a, just like a, a perk. Or maybe you could start around with like one orb. That's actually probably not too bad. Um, and, and that orb is going to be responsible for doing most of the killing. Um, oh yeah, and, and the black hole being closer, you want to expand that out. So hopefully eventually... You can have that black hole that encompasses the entire orb path. Multi shot chance, you want to bring that down to nothing. Rapid fire chance, bounce shot chance, all those want to reduce them to nothing. Um, same thing with damage per meter, you probably want to take that down as well. Uh, crit factor, you can leave that up and high, and that's fine. Um, or you can keep it on the lower side. Um, just because it looks like you might have a little bit of crit chance on your module. So, yeah. Yeah. That's where I would go with that. Um, for your uh, defense stats, absolute defense is going to be absolutely important for you. Uh, <laughs> wow, that was a great pun in there. Um, health regen is actually going to be useful because some of that is going to be going towards overhealing your tower. Um, defense percent is going to be super useful. Um, thorns are going to want to start out at 1%. Kind of, um, play around with this a little bit so that you know that when, as you're increasing, you're like, okay, maybe 5% is a good spot for me. And this is assuming that you're not having wall. Because wall, you have to do labs to get thorns on your wall. Um, but you want to be doing a little bit of thorns damage. Uh, just so that enemies aren't hitting you too much. And they're not building up the, the damage that they can do to you. 
too excessive where they're actually putting you at danger. So start at like 1%, kind of play around with it. Like how can I keep the maximum number of enemies around me up as much as possible? And you know, what, what value can they bring this up to? Uh, not pack chance, I would just minimize that. Um, you could also minimize knockback force, that's fine too. Orb speed, I uh, would just keep that up nice and high. Orbs, for you, I would keep at maybe one. Um, so you got something to kill enemies early on. And then the rest of your orbs you'll basically gain only from um, from the perk. So you'll have up to three at the very end. Um, shockwave size. I would keep on the mineral. You want enemies to stick around you, but you don't want to push them back into your orbs. Um, that'll be really detrimental. So keep that at minimal. Uh, set your lab to for shockwave size at minimal. And then the frequency, you can keep what it is. That's fine. Um, landmine chance. This needs to be nothing because you want your landmines not to be stealing kills. You can keep your damage, you can keep the radius, defy death, you can continually build that. That's not a problem. And then over here in free ups. So when you start around, you're going to want these at uh, a minimal level. It looks like one of your modules does have uh, free attack upgrades. You're going to want to take that off because that's going to be detrimental. Um, and then when it comes to uh, tournaments, just right off the bat, your first thing is you're going to max free utility upgrade and then go for your attack and defense after that. But for normal farming again, these are going to be zero. Uh, recovery amount, looks like you're just slowly working those up. Um, enemy attack level skips, these are really expensive to build up. Uh, for you, right now, for farming, enemy attack level skips are going to be much more important than enemy health level skips because the more you can deny the, abil the enemy's ability to raise their attack against you um, the farther and farther you're going to be able to go in your farms you're not worried about their health because everything's either percentile damage or it's getting instant killed by thorns and yeah that's where i would go with this um you know, good chunk of growth possibility here. You know, you could get some extra little bonus here and there from kills and spotlight. That'll be kind of nice. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, actually um, for your farms. Actually, uh, um, for your target priority, I'm, I'm going to go back a bit. You're going to preferentially, number one, you're going to try to target uh, protectors. Because they're going to protect everything else from getting killed by orbs. And then I would say maybe elites. But chances are I would say yeah, just, just stick with um, uh, not closest uh, in spotlight. So protectors and then in spotlight. Yeah. I uh, think that is everything that I've got for you. Hopefully that helps and I will catch you later.